Okay, do we want it this far? No, I'm gonna keep it like this. Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. I apologize for my voice being locked up. That is because something happened again. I have been going through the motions of a breakup, a broken heart. A long story short, I went back, told him everything that I needed. He ignored my messages except for when he was online, when I thanked him for something, he responded with three lawn matches, then goes offline, and when I commented on the last matches, he never saw it. Then, when I message him, when he's not online, he simply did not see the matches. He ignored it. This went on for about one or two weeks or something. I lost count. During that time my heart was repeatedly breaking and he said something about when uh, during his three long messages he said something about facts versus vague vibes I reflected on that, gave him a breakup matches, so to speak. What does he do? Doesn't say anything, just bans me. I'm sitting here, what the fuck did I do to piss you off so badly to be, once again, banned? for the second time but during the time when I went back he refused to acknowledge my statements he was ignoring me I don't know I am beginning to regret making his acquaintance because if I had known it would end up like this, I would have never allowed him into my Facebook group, which followed by the ad request that I sent to him and to his other friend. What hurts worse is knowing that his other friend screwed up once by making him upset he didn't block her unlike he did me. And I'm sitting here wondering, okay, why is she special more than me? 
what is the difference between me and her? She can get away with who knows what. I know she screwed up once because if it were me, I would have blocked her right then and there for what she did. Make that two events. But he refused to block her, even though she was pissing him off, making him annoyed or frustrated. For me, I would have blocked her. But when it came to me, he instantly called me a demon, called me selfish, and this time there's nothing at all, and just straight up blocked me for what I said. I have never really truly recovered from the time when he blocked me the first time after he called me a demon and selfish. To this day, I don't think I will ever recover or be the same. Well, does my light worker content come into play? I am left with the question of is it worth it to continue my light worker blog? Because right now it's too painful for me to continue. My heart is constantly breaking because of this person. And I am left wondering, is it even worth it to continue? I know it, it is uh, a bit silly because it's just a single person and I know others will say don't let him get in the way, overcome this obstacle. But at the same time, when you're dealing with a breakup, such as this magnitude, you are left with more scars, more pain, more sadness than feeling of bliss. It's been months since I have felt my wings. Months because my wings only come out when I am feeling bliss, love. And now that's a thing of the past. would help if I had a co-host, I think, for this spirit blog, but I know that is impossible to find because 
everyone is too microphone shy. I mean, I could even, I guess, I could just record the text conversation between the two of us and see if that were to work or something like in VR chat while I have an avatar, you have your avatar and we do a podcast thing. But that has never come up. Right now, it is too hard for me to do this solo. I don't have the heart anymore right now. It's too painful. The night has enough to me. That's the only way I can describe it. You can tell by my voice something is wrong. Something happened. You can tell by listening to the fre- the frequency, the vibration. You can tell by just hearing the voice speak. I do apologize for this sad and painful news. However, I still have to upload the other photo slide of spirit work. Uh, post, photo post that I did. Whoops. Until we meet again. Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. On my previous video with the update of Oh my god, why are you so hurt? I forgot to mention the voice in my head would not stop until I went back. It ultimately was stupid of me to go back. It was a waste of time and a mistake. Since after I went back, did the voice in my head stop saying, go back fix your mistake. Yes, it did stop, only after I went back. And I knew I should have not gone back to begin with. The voice in my head would not stop until I did. After putting out that video, I felt a little bit better. And today, I felt even better. However, I still know I am healing, still recovering from what happened. And 
still healing from the broken heart that was repeatedly felt. Today, I am not feeling that right now. Will it come back? I don't know. However, in the previous video, I said it was too hurtful to do the Might Worker content. Once again, I was mistaken because it is easier for me to speak on things that get under my skin and heal while talking about it. Therefore, it is still, um, I, it's, it's not my best content, but I heal, I recover from it when I do get these videos out there, talking and getting it off my chest, and so far. So now I am not going any well. I will continue to produce content like I said I would be doing. And this is a ref uh, refraction statement or whatever. Correcting myself, yada yada yada. I thank you for your time and until we meet again.